Joining us now with more on the company, Joanna Stern, senior personal technology columnist at the Wall Street Journal. Joanna, great to have you here on set. Welcome Thanks back. Thanks for having me. Um, this is interesting. Obviously, it's, India is very important in terms of manufacturing. It's trying to move more manufacturing to India. In terms of India being an important market to Apple, it seems like these phones are too expensive for the average person in India. Yeah, it's a really good point. Being in India is vital to Tim Cook and to Apple for the production, right? We saw that at the end of 2022 with the lack of iPhone 14s you can buy, specifically the pros, those high end, couldn't find them anywhere, and that was because of the China issues. So moving to India, moving out of China for production, vital. The market in India is very interesting. Apple is opening two stores this next month in India. Which phones, though, are the right target for that audience is a big question. Apple has made plays in the lower end, right? They've got the iPhone SE. They've got things hovering around that $350, $400 range. But what's really interesting in these, these other markets is the secondhand phone market, the used phones. And of course, that's not something Apple sells themselves, but it is part of the trade-in process and is part of the cycle of the iPhone. So I see that actually being a way into India market share is the used or refurbished phones making a bigger play into that, that market and that being the place where Apple can build the market share. So in that case, a physical store is going to be really important because you need to bring your phone someplace physically to hand it in and then get another phone. Right. And also when you think about Apple's stores as support and places to build around the ecosystem of the iPhone, if people are buying secondhand phones that are not the top of the line phones, they're still buying AirPods, they're still buying iPads, they're all buying all around the ecosystem, which is what obviously Apple and Tim Cook want. Yeah. Did you make um, anything about the IDC data that came out that showed a loss? In that? I mean, a lot of it was made of it, but MacBooks aren't as important as iPhones to Apple. Yeah, it's sad times. Sad times for PCs. We're all, uh, well, again, everyone's using Macs around here, but... <laughs> It, the the drop in Max in the last quarter of uh, in the last quarter surprising but not that surprising right Apple's the the big shoot up in having more Macs in the market was surprising and a really good move during the pandemic Apple released a lot of new MacBooks with new chips that was key to that big success there now people aren't buying computers that much right we we don't need computers as much as we buy our phones and other types of gadgets. I have a total just curveball for you, but it, 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 it just made, no, it just made me think about it this because we we're talking about we we're talking about the App Store, and I was thinking about Apple, and you probably saw about what's happening in Montana or on TikTok and things like that. Do you believe long term? And I don't know if everyone knows what we're even talking about in Montana. Effectively, yep. they're trying to outlaw sure. TikTok, and the question is whether these these phones, from a geo-targeting kind of perspective, can actually limit. You can have one app available in one state and one app not available in another state. In the U.S., this is going to be something really interesting, right? Apple and Google know a lot about limiting apps in certain countries. In India specifically, right. TikTok not allowed. Right. They ban exactly. it from the store. Yep. In the U.S., that's uncharted territory. And this is some of the big questions I've had around the TikTok ban, right. which is we've never had an app in the right. state ban. Thank, thank you. you.